buddies to turn it laws, and last time on Pokemon XC Gale of Darkness, we escaped the uh, Research Institute, we beat up Lavrina, we got our Delcaddy, and we purified like 20 Pokemon. Not really, like, actually it's like 10. But yeah, well, in between parts, I purified a uh, Shroomish, who is now in this uh, threesome over here, which I'm gonna switch out for some Pokemon soon, it's not really a good one. And Delcaddy's almost done purified, so we're just gonna go on with that. Oh, but a word of uh, wisdom, you can also uh, go to the Purify Chamber from the PC to uh, switch out Pokemon in a Purify Chamber. But uh, you can only purify Pokemon uh, when you're in the lab. So the two places to purify Pokemon are uh, A8 Forest, like the Relic Stone, and here. Alright, uh, oh, isn't Dayton the man who was always fooling around his computer here? This is strange, W wonder where he went. Well, let's just go look around the place. I actually know where he is, so we can go to that spot. Alright. Now, I believe he is over here. And yes. Well, oh, I'm sorry, Professor. I couldn't decipher it. Huh? Oh, it's you, Ryan. You scared me half to death. The data realm is heavily protected like a bank vault. It would take a seriously talented guy to break through and get at the contents. A seriously talented guy, you say? Creeper. Jeepers, creepers. Oh, wow, Professor, I'm terribly sorry. Ah, uh, it can't be helped. If it's a seriously talented guy we need, well, I think I may have a solution. Who would, th who would that person be? Right, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but can you deliver that data realm to own BS station in Pirate Town? Dayton, hand the data realm to Ryan, please. Oh, right away. TK, we got it. ONBS is known as a TV network, but they're much more than that. The people that later founded ONBS were actually instrumental in breaking the Cypher's conspiracy five years ago. Please deliver that data ROM to Nat ONBS. He's the right hand man to SEC. ONBS is the leader. I'm confident that he will get be able to get at the contents of that data ROM. And uh, more recurring characters from uh, Coliseum. These are the other parts of the. Uh, I can't remember their group. Well, I can't remember what the group's name was, but they or basically helped uh, the main characters stop Cypher. And now they're uh, sort of like Purr. Well, they're older now. Let's go to a reoccurring town. Pyrite Town! You got the same jazzy theme. It's kind of like a rundown scum city, but Marsha, wait, wait for me. Um, let's see what's going on about. <sighs> Marsha, wait, wait for me. Looks like they're a television crew, and he's slow. Anyway, if you play Coliseum, you should know this guy. This is... Well, there goes Marsha tearing off like a tornado as usual. There goes one busy girl. Oh, what's up with you, kid? Why give me the eye like that? So you know who I am? I'm Kale. They call me the Gatekeeper of Pyrite. Hehe, <laughs> that smoldering look says you're raring to challenge me. If it's a battle you want, I'm here. Sure, let's fight Kale. All right, then. I'll show you what being, being Kale, the Gatekeeper of Pyrite, is all about. Now, this, uh... He is a, well, a rogue, so he's kind of like a troublemaker. In Coliseum, he had a shadow for it, which was kind of annoying, actually, to catch on some occasions. Anyway, here this is a Ralts and a Schnabel. All right, let's go with Zex and Bashop. Bashop. All right, Zex is almost level 22, and Bashop is almost level 23. Well, actually, Zex is not even close to being 22, but whatever. All right, Thunder Shock on Snubble and Bite on Ralts. Actually, coming up, we're going to be getting two new team members uh, pretty shortly. And they're going to be in the same, like, area, so... Uh, I may have to deal with that a little bit. But yeah, I have all my team members planned out and all their nicknames for them and everything. So... Got that going. And Snubble! He's at half health. All right. Ha! Ah, you got staticified! And Poison Fang on C Dot and another Thundershock on Schnabel. What's weird is his Snubble uh, 
basically loses levels and evolution from Colosseum, because in Colosseum he starts out with a snubble, but then he gets Granbull. And basically he has sort of the same Pokemon from Colosseum. Well, except for Houndar. I think he had a Macho. Yeah, a Machop that evolved into a Macho. Because you could actually refight him and he'll get stronger each time you refight him. So, yeah. Bashaku level 23. Alright. Zex, let's just use Dig. Switch up for a whole round, so we're probably going to try to get to level 23, even though Zex is under level. We're going to just keep him out so he can get some levels. Alright. See Water Gun and Zex will continue with Dig should Houndar still live. Alright, before I knew owned him. Alright, there we go. Whoa! We got 480 Poké Dollars. Good. Hey kid, I have to hand it to you. You have to be good to be Kale, Pirate's Gatekeeper. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Now here's a kind of an interesting place. We have the Fortune Teller. Name is uh, Fateen, I think her name is. Find what you seek, be it an object, person, or luck. Welcome to Fateen's fortune telling chamber. I am Fateen. Problem clouds your barrage? Come to me. Mr. Duking, this town's leader, took my fortune, telling to heart. He searched high and low for the wild Pokemon I have foretold. His search has been re rewarded. He appears to have found several locations where wild Pokemon appear. And also from Coliseum, you should know that there is no wild Pokemon in Ore, so I guess uh, you might be getting to that later, so I'm actually finding wild Pokemon. Hmm. Hey, it's Trudley and Folly from the first game. All right, then, what do we have here? Well, if it's in Trudley and Folly, what do you think you're up to? What are we up to? You got it all wrong. We are here to do some shopping, that's all. Now, don't you lie to me. I know that the likes of you. You're up to no good, aren't you? Cut us some slick, Officer Johnson, sir. You had to change your heart. We sworn off our quinamon ways, sir. Yes, sir. No, 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 that doesn't wash with me. No, sir, it doesn't. I won't have you lot walking around the streets as if you own the place. Pompous, oh folly, the man will listen to reason. Let's get out of here. Now, uh, Trudley and Folly, they were henchmen to, uh, one of these Cypher admins from the first game, called, uh, Meyer B. And, uh, well, they've been getting in trouble. Officer Johnson here quite a lot. Here's a hotel you can, uh, I think it's pay a hundred Poké Dollars to rest up. It's sort of like the town's Pokémon Center, but I really don't advise it. Unless you really need to heal. Alright, uh, let's see, uh, I buy some super potions, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'll buy three revives. Just in case our Pokemon die. Alright, now here's the battle square in the circle. Sorta. Of. Um, in here. Oh, Delica can be purified. Uh, I'm not gonna show that now because I have to go back to the lab. Now, uh, in Colosseum here, you can fight several different Shadow Pokemon in this square, but. This isn't Coliseum, so I'm gonna stop talking about Coliseum. Let's see, here's Dual Square, Hunter Rowling. See, Zizgoon and Swizmer. Zex and Bashak. Alright. Intimidate very well. And ah oh, crap, I forgot to switch out to the plan. Let's go with Horion. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can go up battle for this entire last fight without singing that song. Or like just humming to it or something. Alright, I'm gonna try. And since I'm an APOM. And, uh, well, in this generation and second generation, when Apom was most prevalent, uh, it gets screwed. It has no evolution. Uh, its stats are screwed. Its moves set is terrible, just like Murkrow. So, actually, it gets into fourth gen when these two Pokemon actually get a lot better. <laughs> ah, oh, damn it. Oh, well. The music's catchy enough to actually sing along with, so. 
screwed out that tradition already. Alright, bye. We bear the monkey. And scratch. That did utterly crap. Uproar, nah, just trace this up. Wismer, calm down, bite, and water gun. Wismer painted. Alright. Ah, Mar, Pokemon. Alright, he's done sparse. Come on, Dunstars! Okay, we killed Apon, now he's gotta kill the stupid Dunstars. And there's like four more trainers after this, hooray! Alright. So this will kill it. Litter, get pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny, pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. Alright. Dunstars is still alive. And it's causing a commotion! Yeah, at least he's in our wall within the ocean. Alright. Let's just finish this battle up. Critical hit. I haven't been important to flinch in a while. That has to change. Ah. So close. I should switch for Porion out for, uh... Let me switch Bashak for Porion. If anyone demands a battle here in Tool Square, you shouldn't complain. That's the rule around here. Well, nobody ever demands battles in Tall Sam, and I see. Well, it's actually about 50 50. You actually have to talk to people to battle them most of the time. Actually, no, there's people who have seen upon you. Eh, never mind. I'm not going to go into that debate. Let's just go play Swine Up and Dagon. <laughs> Sex with poor young Oni Pokemon and level up to 23 and 24. Mama, let's get go. Oh, these moves do the Super effective. Alright, Zex is almost at level 22, and Vaporeon is level 23. HP plus 4. And Vaporeon is trying to learn quick attack. I'm gonna learn that just for a uh, priority right. If like, I ever need to kill a Pokemon that's at like 1 health, and it's just bugging me, I'll just use the quick attack, so. I'll keep it on here for a while. And it's Murkrow, so you have two crappy Pokemon in this arena. Well, actually, three if you count Dunsparce. Ah. Uh, oh, perfect opportunity of what I'm talking about. Flinch, yes. Perfect opportunity of what I'm talking about. Although, I'm just going to attack this. Well, that would have been the perfect opportunity if Murkrow was any other type of dark. Mighty Ener. He's trying to learn a roar. Um, not really gonna help us as much. It just switches out any Pokemon for another Pokemon. Uh, I guess it'd be good for wild battles if you want to run away from them, but oh, we're not running into much wild battles, are we? And basically, well, in this game, if you want to run into wild battles, you not runs, but you basically do it so by choice, so it's not really wild. Kind of anticipating. But we'll get into that later. I'm gonna try to stop spoiling stuff from now. And we killed Murkrow? Murkrow! Right. Bites. <laughs> and Clamperl is still hanging on. Ha, and you flinched! Ha, see I told you we'd be getting back in that habit. Now let's see if we can actually finish this off with Quick Attack. Yes! This is why Quick Attack is helpful. Even though I probably would have gone first anyway. Alright. I, under I underestimated you. I thought you were just a kid. But no, I'm a kid who can beat you up and make you fall down to the ground. 
Not bad. It's gonna be not gonna be this way next time. And I just know um, every uh, trainer in this still square can be refought if you exit and re-enter the uh, pirate town. So, um, well, I'm gonna cut this here for now. So next time on Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, we're gonna try to fight these three trainers and finish this up, and then uh, go explore more pirate town. See you guys next time.